Welcome back here to New Day Cleveland. Well, as far as hobbies go, knitting has become all of the rage. I love that it feels like it went away and is back. Brenda McLose is joining us from Cast On Yarn Studio in Vermilion, and she's here to teach us a few things. Now, I know we've been to your location. Yes. It's fabulous out there, so it's so great to have you here in well, studio. Thank you for having me. And how about this? Sh she knitted the sweater that she is wearing today. <laughs> that, it looks spectacular. Well, How long did you. that take you to make? Well, I, it took me a, a couple of weeks because I was on pressure. I wanted to make a sweater for the occasion, so. Oh, so yes. you did this just for us. I did. Oh, well, I feel special, and that is sweet <laughs> of you. you. You knit a lot of different things. Now, tell us how your studio works for those who haven't been out there. Well, um, I carry a, an array of knitting and crochet supplies. Um, I have beautiful yarns. I have something actually for everyone. Different weights. Um, I also uh, do classes and have knit alongs and yes. And so do you then knit, I know you knitted some beautiful things that are here. Mm -hmm. Do you make custom pieces for people too? Or how does that work? Or do you I just do, do this for fun on your own? Uh, well, no, this is for the shop for inspiration. So when people come in, they can uh, take a look at what they can make with the yarns that I supply. Interesting. So you have some great samples. Not only do you have the wonderful sweater on, but what do you have up front there? Oh, this is um, one of my local gals. She's from Alliance, Ohio. Her name's Margaret and her company is Heidi and Lana. And kits are really the rage right now. It's nice because everything is all put together for you. You can pick it up, instructions, your knitting supplies, and your yarn is all, all available with the pattern. Um, and so. these are these are pieces that are priceless that when they're made from someone you love, they, they I've kept things that my great aunt made me when mm -hmm. I was a couple months old. Yes. And I will have them forever and yes. maybe even be able to use on my children. Absolutely. And I love the, the sentiment behind that then too. The hats, I've had, I've I've had family members try to do things like this too, and they said it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. But <laughs> but you teach the glasses, and you can I help do. them. Yes, this one right here is um, my currently my February knit along, and uh, you come in and you get the pattern and the yarn. And you can pick out. I have uh, 15 different colors, and you can pick it out. And there's YouTube uh, tutorials available to help you along the way. YouTube for and everything, right? Come in, and I can get you you know get you started. Yes. I, the yarns, they're just spectacular. Some of them, Thank the you. ones that you have up front. Now, I know they're all considered different. That is considered yarn, correct? That is, here? and that's okay. actually a trunk show that I have going on starting Whoop. today just for all my customers and anyone that'd like to come out that has not been out yet. Um, they're beautiful yarns. And yes. it's the Chelsea Lux line, yes. right? So that it would be today and tomorrow? Today and tomorrow at her studio in Vermilion. Now you brought with you some other pieces that are yes. going to be featured during the trunk show. Look at these sweaters that are surrounding us. Yes. They're the, gorgeous. These are uh, hand knit by um, a company that I carry. I am uh, the only one in Northeastern Ohio that carries their line and it's called Brooklyn Tweed. They're 100% uh, wool from sheep to skein, 100% um, American made, so. They're really it's proud gorgeous. of it. Yes. Another reason to get out there in Vermilion and see yes. Herder's shop. I just have to say something. What a Valentine's Day that this woman is going to have. I'm going to get teary-eyed already, and I shouldn't be. Her <laughs> son, Kyle, is here. I'm making him come in. He doesn't know that he's coming in. <laughs> Kyle was serving overseas for six months, correct? Yes. He just got back two weeks ago. I'm going to let you come <laughs> here, and I'm going to bring this. So I have a little stick mic. I'm surprised you. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, we're overseas, but now you're back. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and he's so, look how polite he is too. <laughs> and uh, you're you're now uh, going to be a local police officer here. Yes, ma'am. Where are you going to be? Uh, I'm going to be starting in North Ridgeville next. So and I work in Vermilion currently. Thank you for your mm -hmm. service to our country. Oh, you're welcome. I can't imagine what this feels like to know that your child is back home with you this <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's very nice. It were is. you able we're to really surprise proud. her? Did she know you were coming? Uh, she knew I was coming, but I gave her a little surprise. I actually showed up at the shop. So. You, oh. Yes, it was really nice. Yes. That's a great Valentine's. Yes. Look, I'm, I didn't mean to make you cry. Now I'm going to cry too. We, again, thank you for what you do oh, for our welcome. country. You'll, you'll have this young man protecting our streets locally now too, and I think that's a wonderful thing. So happy Valentine's oh, Day to you, you too. Happy Valentine's Day. I know you're proud of your mom too, I yes, bet, huh? Yes, very, very proud. <laughs> Has she knitted you things since you were a little yes, kid? Yes, I have a hat, and I also have two pairs of socks. See? So they're very warm. And the knitting yeah. will continue, I'm sure. Thank you, Kyle, for yeah. Coming. Thank you. Thank you for being oh, here. Go and you. visit her in her beautiful shop there in Vermilion. All right, still to come on New Day Cleveland. The